2023 appears to be a revolutionary year for space explorations all over the world, with NASA making its move to the lunar orbit within the Artemis mission and Elon Musk executing his Starship mission flawlessly, the year seems like a terrific year for space researchers. However, a third underdog is making its move and quietly gaining attention. The contender aims to provide a better replacement for the highly regarded ISS space station in 2023. Yep, we're talking about China. The Chinese space agency, after the remarkable successes of 2022, has great plans for the year 2023. After successfully launching all its 64 launches planned for 2022, the country is now slowly disclosing its objectives for the year 2023. In a recent interview, the agency recently spoke with the media about its 2023 collaboration plans with various space agencies, the plans for expansion and further development of its space station, and the future of its Long March rocket research for this year. The team also talked about its plans to open up access to its Tiangong space station to all organizations who desire to collaborate with China on any of their initiatives. So, all in all, a lot is going on in the China Space Agency that you might want to know. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Door to the Universe. In today's episode, we'll take you through the journey of the Tiangong Space Station, its module expansion, and the plans of the European Space Agency to collaborate with China. Let's begin. Just as International Space Station, after spending more than 20 years in orbit, prepares to retire in 2030, the Tiangong Station is beginning its journey to become the next international space station in line. This is why China's major priority and goal for 2022 was to build the Tiangong Space Station rapidly, as it would probably offer up new opportunities for the country in the future. In contrast to the collaborative ISS, China is the sole owner and operator of the Tiangong Station. The fact that the entire world is now interested in the growth and evolution of TSS and China's growing significance is solely because after ISS, the Tiangong Space Station will be the only running space station left for the world. However, the Chinese Space Agency has repeatedly stated that it is ready to host collaborations and collaborative research aboard the station since it plans to commercialize its space station in the coming years. According to the report, the authority has already approved nine international experiment proposals from various countries, indicating its determination to work with all space agencies worldwide. So far, the construction of the space station is still in progress as the organization is planning to launch new modules in 2023 to make the station more spacious and functional. The station, as of now, is comparatively smaller and less equipped than the 16-module-based ISS. However, it is in line to be as equipped as its competitor during the year. But how did it all begin? And what time frame did China have in mind for the future ISS? Basically, it all began back in 2011 when China launched the Tiangong-1, its first experimental space station, at a lower orbit to test the viability of developing a sustainable system in space. Despite the first setback of the experiment, the Chinese government was committed to building a functionally superior, sustainable space station to the International Space Station, the ISS. The dream got accomplished later in 2021 after years of hard work and consistency. China's Tianhe module of the Tiangong Space Station was launched into orbit on April 29, 2021. The agency's first unmanned module was launched to the station first, followed by manned missions from Zhenzhou 5 to Zhenzhou 6, which were supposed to be the station's life support system. Later, in 2022, the agency launched the Wentian module and the Mengtian module, which were both full-fledged laboratories. These modules have already begun conducting experiments, and some of the results have already been sent back to Earth for further study. The organization also welcomed back the three astronauts who were assigned to finalize the space station's construction after they returned to Earth in December 2022. After being welcomed by their families, the astronauts were transferred to the post-mission recovery facility to recover from the consequences of spending half a year in microgravity. After all these successful launches of 2022, the space station has now begun phase two of its space station development. 
Phase 2 includes the addition of more core modules to the space station that makes the Tiangong station more comfortable for the crew on board. Commander of the space station, Wang Chiang, in his recent interview stated that if everything goes well, the agency plans to send an extension module to dock with the existing design. The extended module, as per him, will carry a different hub for docking the new space vehicles that are to come in later years. Wang also mentioned that the new modules will make the space station more comfortable for the crew on board as they will get more space for the application of scientific cargo. China's original plan for the Tiangong space station as of now is to keep it operational for more than 10 years. Another fact about this entire expansion is that it was all planned before the launch. Even the core module Tianhu, along with the docking hubs, were seen in the presentations and simulations shown prior to the flight. The Tianhe, Wenqian, and Mengxian modules were also seen constructed together as one big station in the ground testing phase of the space station. After this expansion and development, China is expected to form more alliances and will collaborate with more nations. And more so, because the ISS is planning to retire soon and the space station next in line is the Chinese Tiangong Space Hub. ISS, in its tenure, has been a great major factor causing space collaboration all over the world. Since 1998, countries like Russia, Japan, Canada, and even Europe have done projects with the ISS. Moreover, space agencies like Roscosmos, ESA, JAXA, and CSA all were using ISS for their space projects in the low Earth orbit. Now, this basically means that China has a huge opportunity and responsibility on its shoulders. Moreover, this project will most likely resolve or worsen the differences between the US and China, which has literally broken the ties between the two nations. In the year 2011, the US government banned China from further space collaborations, and astronauts from China were prohibited to enter the US-built space station. However, it seems as if the tables have turned in the recent news. European and Russian space agencies have revealed their plans of collaborating in missions led by China. After ISS retires in 2030, Tiangong will be the only operational space station present in outer space, equipped to support lives and all space experiments. Many countries, due to recent Chinese space developments, have shown interest in collaborating with the Chinese Space Agency. In recent news, the Chinese Space Agency has spoken about their plans to collaborate with the French Space Agency during mid-2023 on a project named the Space Variable Objects Monitor. As per the news, the particular project will study the most distant supernovas, gamma ray bursts, and star explosions with a small X-ray telescope. The telescope will be placed on a low Earth orbit at an altitude of 625 kilometers and an inclination of 30 degrees. The project will use several astrophysical instruments like the ECLAIRS, gamma ray monitor, visible telescope, and a microchannel X-ray telescope. All these instruments are designed to measure the spectrum of high-energy bursts. The Eclairs instrument will focus on the low-range gamma rays ranging from 4 to 250 kilo electron volts, whereas the MXT telescope will focus on a gamma energy range of 0.2 to 10 kilo electron volts. The satellite will also have a specific telescope named Einstein Pro that will observe the electromagnetic and X-ray emissions near the black holes. The Chinese space station will launch its long March 2C rocket to initiate the project in mid-2023 from the Sichong Satellite Launch Center. That's all the news we had from the Tiangong Space Station. We wish the Chinese Space Agency well in achieving its goals. Nevertheless, we'll be here to update you.